beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? We are talking about Q and biblical and how people are unaware of their future, their past, their present. Yes, their present. A lot of people are not aware of their present situation. And we've been talking the last few videos, not just me, but quite a few people are talking about Elon Musk. Uh, throughout these past few videos, we've been talking about Elon Musk, though, here. And I have just woken up, and Elon Musk was on my mind. I went and looked at his Twitter page, and he has tweeted out just a few minutes ago. Let's look and see what it says. If we go to Elon Musk's Twitter page... He, uh, what was it, 38 minutes ago? He titled it, Avenge the Dinosaurs. And he's retweeting a NASA asteroid watch. And NASA says, asteroids have been hitting the Earth for billions, with a B, billions of years. Now we begin to make it stop. If, if the asteroids have been hitting the Earth for a billion years, I don't think we really have to worry about anything, right? Avenge the dinosaurs? Is that what happened? An asteroid came down and killed the dinosaurs? I don't know. There's rumors that dinosaurs... Anyways, that's... As I repeat, a lot of people may or may not know their history. Their history is 100% biblical. It's absolutely impossible for it not to be biblical. God made every single thing in the heavens and the earth. Everything. Therefore, you and I could not be here without God. Without God, there would be no Holy Bible. There's no God, there's no world. So everything in the world is biblical, either good or bad. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, God allows everything to happen, good and bad. God created Satan, God created the earth, and God cast Satan down to earth to rule the earth and the heirs. Yes? So absolutely every single thing is biblical. Absolutely everything. Maybe even Elon Musk's tweet could be biblical. If we take the timing in between tweets, timing between tweets correlate to the keyboard. Pacific Coast has a clue. If you look, it's 3.15 a.m. If you go to QDrop 3.15 a.m., I'm just saying, how many clues could you possibly give? Well, 315, QDOP 315 could help you. But timing in between tweets correlate to the cue board. Everybody knows this. And it's biblical, not political. It's not political. Every single time. How does the devil get you to give yourself a up and follow man? Every single time you vote Republican or Democrat or Independent or any other thing, you're casting your vote for man and his structure and society and its traps. I vote for Jesus Christ. Therefore, I don't vote in man's voting process. Every single time a Christian, a God-given Born again Christian, this is my opinion. This is my opinion. Every single time a Christian votes, they've given up their right to vote for Jesus Christ. Because you're on this earth saying, I want a person to rule over me. And I want it to be that person or this person. The person that you're letting me choose from. See, they give you a choice. One of the choices is not participating. That is one of the choices that you have. Now, I don't want to make this a choice about like America's right and freedom and it's your right to vote and all this. 
This is so important. You're right to vote. If it counted. If it counted. Anyway, timing in between tweets. Anybody and everybody all over the world can do this no matter what your time zone you live in. <coughs> the timing between, which we were talking about last night, about to launch asteroid defense test. This came in at 10.10 10 p.m. on the 23rd. As I repeat, this one came in at 3.15 on the Pacific. This morning on the 25th. No matter what time zone you're in, though, the timing in between those two tweets, no matter what, is 29 hours and 4 minutes. Timestamp and gap code. Gap is minus 1. That would be 29 0 Four. What do you think 2904 says? What do you think? I'm going to read the whole thing. So hang on here, okay? Q drop 2904. <coughs> the Q drop 2904. The armor of God. Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand. Stand firm, then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all of the Lord's people. Q. Amen. Is it biblical or is it political? I don't see one single thing here saying it's po uh, political. Not one single thing. As a matter of fact, it says exactly the opposite. We are here as God's children to fight against the authorities, against the power of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of the evil in the heavenly realms. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of the evil heavenly realms. It's not... If we're not fighting flesh and blood, and our rulers and our authorities are flesh and blood, we are not fighting our leaders. We are fighting against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of the evil in the heavenly realms. These dark spirits and these dark forces rule our rulers. They rule our authorities. You can see the fear in our authority's eyes. You can see that they have that they are following somebody else's authority. Not the people's, not the constitution, but something much, much bigger than them. They are very afraid. I'm afraid of Jesus Christ. Not the devil's schemes. The devil can torture me on this earth. The devil can make me feel so much pain and suffering. But we as humans already do that. We already here on earth have those feelings. They might not be permanent. They're temporary. But we already have pain and suffering on earth. All things must die. Therefore... The devil can only torture a human being and God's children for a temporary moment in time. And then we leave him to the pits of hell as we go to God's grace. Anyways, is it political or is it biblical? 100% up to you. God bless America.